Hello to you students. In this video, we will start Chapter 13, The Northern Plains. Children, in our previous chapter, we have discussed the first physical division, that is the Himalayan mountains. Now, in this chapter, we will discuss the second physical division, that is the Northern Plains. Children, before we start the chapter, let's discuss some key words. First word, plain. Flat leveled land is known as plain. Second word, perennial. A river that flows throughout the year is called perennial river. Third word, tributaries. Small rivers that join a big river are known as tributaries. Fourth word, basin. An area of land from which water flows into a river or we can say an area where small rivers join a large one is known as basin. Fifth word, silt. Fine sand Soil or mud which is carried along by a river is known as silt. So children, these were the few keywords which we have discussed. Now let's start the chapter. The northern plains are located to the south of the Himalayas. They are also known as the northern fertile plain as they are very fertile or the Indo-Gangetic Plains as they are formed by two great river systems the Indus River System and the Ganga Brahmaputra River System. Here in these images children you can see the Indus River Basin and the Ganga Brahmaputra River Basin which forms the Northern Plains. Children now let's talk about the location of northern plains. The northern plains lies to the south of the Himalayan mountains and also we can say that the northern plains are located between the Himalayas in the north and the southern peninsula. The east-west extent of the plains is about 2400 kilometer and they are about 150 to 300 kilometer wide. These plains cover the states of Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal and parts of Assam. The northern plains are flat leveled land. Many rivers which originate in the Himalayas flow through these plains. These rivers are perennial rivers and have water throughout the year. These rivers thus make the northern plains rich and fertile and very suitable for cultivation. Thus, a wide variety of crops are grown in the northern plains. Now children, let's talk about a basin and division of northern plains. An area watered by a river and its tributaries is called a basin. The northern plains can be divided into three river basins. The Satluj Basin which lies in the states of Punjab and Haryana. The Ganga Basin which lies in the state of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal the Brahmaputra Basin, a narrow strip in Assam. Now children, a question arises, why we are saying Satluj Basin? Why not Indus Basin? It is because Indus River flows majorly in Pakistan. The Indus River is a northwest flowing river which flows through Jammu and Kashmir and then towards Pakistan. So, in India, we will discuss the Satluj Basin 
the river satluj which is a tributary of the indus river the other tributaries of the indus river are bias chenab ravi and jhelum the satluj river after flowing in punjab and haryana joins indus river the famous bhakra nangal dam has been built on the satluj to provide electricity and water for irrigation the indira gandhi canal which starts from the satluj provides water to the dry areas of rajasthan the main crops grown in the satluj basin are wheat rice cotton and sugar cane some of the important cities in this region are chandigarh ludhiana amritsar ambala patiala and jalandhar now next comes the ganga basin the river ganga is sacred to the hindus it has its source in the gangotri glacier high up the himalayas and flows through the states of uttarakhand uttar pradesh bihar and west bengal the ganga river flows down the plains and it is joined by its tributaries these are yamuna ghagra kosi and gandak later the tributaries from the deccan plateau also join ganga river these are chambal betwa and son and finally the river ganga falls into the bay of bengal the ganga basin is the most densely populated part of india the most important cities in this area are rishikesh haridwar delhi agra prayagraj which was earlier known as allahabad varanasi and kolkata now comes the brahmaputra basin the river brahmaputra starts in tibet where it is called sangpo it then flows eastwards and enters india in arunachal pradesh and there it is called the hang then finally padma in bangladesh where it joins river ganga and it falls into bay of bengal now children there are two important terms to be discussed mouth of a river and a delta the place where a river joins a sea is known as its mouth the rivers carry a lot of silt which gets deposited at the mouth of the river and thus forms a triangular shaped island this island or place is called a delta the delta formed at the mouth of the ganga and brahmaputra rivers is called the sundarban delta this is the largest delta in the world now children let's discuss the importance of the northern plains the soil of the northern plains is very good for growing crops so the main occupation of the people here is farming most of the indian wheat and rice is grown in the northern plains and this is the reason these plains are also called the food bowl of india since the northern plains are flat and level land there exists a good network of roads and railways the northern plains are very important for the economic development of our country now children 
let's discuss the climate of the northern plains the plains have extreme climate very hot in summer and very cold in winter they get heavy rainfall in the monsoon months of july and august with this children we have completed the discussion of our chapter 13 the northern plains hope this video will be useful for you all thanks for watching